Good morning everyone. So today what we're going to be working on to be the Boston Girl 2. So the Boston Girl 2 today is going to get the new shocks and struts. <clears throat> so we have the front strut, the bellow, the spring, the uh, strut mount, and driver's side and passenger side. And then we have the rear, so the rear spring, the shock, and then the uh, bellow. And then we also have the pin hard bar. So with this kit, it technically would drop the boss a little bit. Um, so we're going to take the measurements and then show you guys what the difference is. They are loose. Alright, so the sway bar is back on. Sway bar. Alright, so the brace is on for the uh, struts. And my brother is over here finishing up, tightening up the uh, passenger side. So I think the scariest part about it is uh, trying not to scratch the car. I think is honestly the the scariest thing about this job other than that pretty basic pretty easy actually we knocked it out probably in about 20 25 minutes and that was obviously looking for um sockets so not too bad your intake on this what was the scariest part for you uh nothing it's easier than putting headers on the uh, chest <laughs> that is true and we got more daylight yeah, that's true. <laughs> Alright, lowering it off the front. Alright guys, so I'm going to move these towels. And right there is the top um, bolt for the shock. Guys, so here's the bottom of the box. I haven't been down here in a while. Actually in a long time, I've never really seen the bottom. So there is the shock. And there is the spring. There is the torsion and rear axle. And the pan hard bar, which is this guy, is going to be replaced with the adjustable one, and vice versa on this side. So, the shock and the spring. All right, guys. So, got both of the uh, top shock mounts or shock nuts, shock nuts free. Uh, what we're going to need is a 10 to hold it from spinning around and then you'll be able to get this guy out. Easily does it, Paulito. Don't scratch the paint. What paint? <laughs> yeah. Jack handle slips. Alright, tires are up already. Alright, so wheel one is off. Here is the shock. So all we got to do is loosen this guy and then we're going to have to lower this link for the sway bar and then we'll be able to uh, get the spring up all right so got one of them down and this one the bushing is already pretty worn right here all right so here is the new one Hold this real quick. It's recording. 
So then you're just going to compress it. And the good thing about this kit is it has new hardware. So that's pretty much one of the shocks. So for the rear end to be able to come down, we're gonna disconnect this sway bar end link, and that's gonna be a 15 millimeter. All right, so I'm doing is taking off the pin hard bar bolts. Be careful with the springs to show them. And they come out just like that. There you go. That's one. All right guys, so we were able to get that bolt off. This guy right here, 15 millimeter. So now I'm gonna just side the other one off. And um, make sure that you have the jack under the car. And be careful just in case something goes awry. So I'm just gonna push up on the sway bar and release the other one. So now what we're gonna be able to do is take off the pin hard bar and lower the, uh, the rear axle. So we don't have the shocks mounted yet, or we don't have it uh, mounted at the top yet. So it is free to move up and down still. All right, so that's what we're gonna be up to. And then this one needs to straight down. That, that makes sense. sense. Yeah. Oh, this is good. Yeah. Try to whack it up. Yep, man. All right, so making some adjustments on the pan hard bar just so it sits right. And then what we're gonna do is um, burn up the end links and then we'll put on a tire just to make sure that the rear end didn't shift anywhere. And then we'll go from there. All right guys, so got the uh, pan hard bar and pretty much everything timed up on the bottom. So this is the way that it looks for now. And uh, obviously it does need a good undercarriage cleaning. But there you see the new shocks, the new springs, and the pan hard bar. I gotta tighten up these guys. But uh, so far, everything looks good. All right guys, so got the uh, pan hard bar and pretty much everything tightened up on the bottom. So this is the way that it looks for now. And uh, obviously it does need a good undercarriage cleaning. But there you see the new shocks, the new springs, and the pan hard bar. I gotta tighten up these guys. But uh, so far, everything looks good. And then uh, we're gonna lower it and make sure that the differential didn't move that much, which uh, right now it doesn't look too far off. So we'll check it out when, once it's on the ground. 